we got to face reality and realize that we're going to be dealing with all kind of negative people, all kind of people with negative influences on them. But I had wrote this acronym a long time ago, a few years ago, and it stands for the word stand, which is stand tall against negative dilemmas. I try to use this every day in my life and it lets me know when a negative person comes towards me, it lets me know to stand tall amongst them, not only against negative people, but also against negative problems that I may face in life are any of us. We got to we got to realize that we, we live we live in a negative, cruel and cold world, but <clears throat> we shouldn't let those kind of people affect us. Especially people who tries to stop us from pursuing our dreams, and we got at the same time we got to realize they are who they are. We can't change them, and it's very unfortunate that they are that particular way. But that doesn't mean that we should fall in their trap and fall into their negativity. In some cases, you may have days where a negative person comes amongst you and tries to throw all kind of you know, words, all kind of negative darts. Hold up that shield of faith so you can quench all the, quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Because we live in a, um, uh, we, 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 this is a real spiritual battle we're dealing on a day-to-day -day basis. And especially if you're a believer of God, we got to keep his armor of, of, up, upon us. We got to keep the armor of light upon us. We got to hold up that shield of faith so we can quench those negative darts away from us. We got to avoid negativity. We got to keep peace and pursue it. And, and we got to run away from evil. It's very important to keep peace. Practice peace daily in your life. Practice standing tall against negative dilemmas in every day of your life. This will help you to become a better person. And once it helps you to become a better person, you can teach someone else so they can teach someone else. And that's that's how we can make this world a better place. So I just wanted to come on here and, sh and share this message with you guys. I wanted to do this message a uh, long time ago. but And it's funny, I had wrote this quote back in 2011. And my father has brought it back up in my spirit. I was doing something earlier. And this particular quote had been brought back to my mind again so i wanted to share this with you guys um feel free to all, for, also share this message with others also subscribe to my youtube channel lately i've been very consistent and my lord has been working you know on my eating habits and you know taking care of my health and so forth also, check out my Healthy Living documentary. It's on my YouTube channel. I thank you for the viewers that watched it so far. And um, let's continue to take care of ourselves. It's very important to take care of our spiritual. We got we to gotta protect our spiritual. We got to be healthy in spirit first. We got to keep God first. And then we can take care of all the other aspects, which is, you know, mind, body, and soul. But let's keep God first in everything that we do. Let's give him thanks every single day every single day of our lives we shouldn't have to thank him on one particular day which is thanksgiving coming up why can't we thank god all the time you're able to see there's somebody in the world that's blind right now you're able to walk there's somebody in in the world who has no legs you're able to hear there's somebody else in the world who's deaf you're living somebody else just died look at these things it's the little things and count it's the little things in life that counts, guys. And we got to look and be grateful for the little things that we have. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a living testimony of that. There's days I'm still going through it, struggling. Um, there's days why I had $2 left to my name. But my father has blessed me to make it, being that I am the man that I am today. And he's blessed me to keep moving forward. I remember there's days where I survived off of top ramen noodles being broken surviving off those and but you know what i'm still here standing still breathing and my lord is in, encouraging me on a day-to-day -day basis and he's teaching me how to encourage myself so i can help others out that's what this walk of life is all about that's what this walk of god is all about to being able to you know just keep moving forward a, a song popped up in my head earlier and it's also mentioned in the book of revelation 
And Jesus said, He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. Do you know that how much prizes that Jesus has for us when we learn to endure all the way to the end? He's going to write your name down and he's going to make you a pillar in the temple of his God. He's going to make you worthy. How awesome is that? That that is awesome. You know, so while we're while we're on planet Earth, we have a time to get it together, to really change, to really repent, to change our thoughts, to change the way we think, to change our actions, to change our attitude towards people, to really get it together. We got a chance to put all negative things aside from us. We got a chance to detox our body and to get rid of all the poisons out of our body, not only our bodies, but our, also our spirits, our souls, our minds, and our hearts. We got a chance to Again, stand and rise above our problems. And we got a chance to, you know, just to give our lives fully to the Lord and endure all the way to the end. Because I want to remind you, the Lord the Lord loves you and, and he wants you to make it all the way with him. And it's just an awesome feeling to know that the Lord is going to make us a pillar in the temple of his God once we learn to endure all the way to the end. So remember, let this message encourage you. I pray that this will impact you. And it's amazing how the Lord impacts the lives of people. He is the greatest encourager that we can look up to. He is the greatest inspiration of all time. Jesus Christ is the greatest inspiration of all time. He, he accomplished what no man in this world can. And that's dying, dying for his chosen people and being resurrected and being alive forevermore he, he is he is a, a, an awesome testimony he is just, just so powerful and i and I, I just i love him so much and i pray that you will give your life to him while you have a chance because this next second isn't even promised to us there's somebody in a hospital bed who's on their way out of this world but we, we the, our lord has given us a time to really to, to really get it together and to really live for him and to make it all the way with him so take this message to heart today remember stand tall against negative dilemmas stand tall against negative problems and negative people around you and and practice this let this be with you for the rest of the days of your life and remember to just stand tall and be like those towers that still standing today in the earth still standing strong no matter what kind of kind of storms you know, comes amongst them, no matter what kind of tornadoes comes around them, they're still standing. You know, those negative people are like tornadoes. They're like hurricanes. And this, this reminds me of the message that I did a couple days ago. I was talking about, you know, storms of life that will come and, you know, us being able to, you know, still stand. Thank you, Jesus. It was, it was the one where I was talking about the parable of Jesus and how he wants us and how he spoke about the wise man building his house upon a rock. And go look at that message again when you get a chance. That's a very important message that the Lord has blessed me to speak. But I just wanted to leave this off with you guys. I'm already eight minutes in this video, but feel free to share this with others. This is Rob right here, speaking from the heart. As always, I love you guys. Stay strong. Share this message with others. Be strong in these last days. Take care.